Hey everyone, thank you for checking out my new video. This one here we're doing another Invector tutorial and this is just a short one here to explain how to change the health bar uh, into a circular fill type. So what you need to do is you just need to open up your Invector scene. I've just got the basic shooter melee scene um, here and we're going to change the HUD on it. So what we can do is the HUD's already actually in the scene so we don't have to change any prefabs. You just come down into here to the HUD, we need to select our health. What I want to do is I want to change the scene view to a 2D one so that we can actually see where everything is. And I'm just going to select health in the hierarchy here and then hit F over the scene. And you can see now it's bringing up our little health bar up here. So what we've got here is this is a slider fill when you see when it goes down to zero uh, and then up to 100, it's going to increase the, the red bar. So what it's actually doing is it's got a background underneath, which is this gray thing here. I'm just going to shoot this so we can see. Uh, background so the back uh, section here is the image that we've got for our gray health bar and then over the top is the fill area and the red bar is the fill and at the moment it's set up um, just as a simple image uh, and what we're doing is we're controlling it through here from left to right we can actually even change that from right to left if we really wanted and put it back the other way but we don't want to do that so let's just leave it as left to right and you can see now um, that we can yeah, set the values between that and control it via this um, special slider tool uh, what we want to do is we want to actually make this a semicircle and get it to fill up from the bottom around. So what I've done now is you're going to actually have to get your own graphics to do this. Um, I've just drawn up some quite quickly and I'm just going to go into the other folder. You can see here I've got our background bar which is this shape and then a bar that sits over the top of it and that's our filler bar. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go to the background and I'm going to change this to this uh, item here but if you can see now if I actually change the health bar you can see it's a weird sort of stretched out image so we don't really want it to look like that um, but what we're going to do is we're going to just change that whole image itself uh, we're just going to stretch it out to something a little bit more appropriate for the size and you can see now um, it looks a little bit strange because it's sort of uh, there's a large rectangle here you just need to adjust this and set up your transforms correctly um, I'm just doing this quickly as a demonstration um, so I'm going to leave that there for now and then in our fill we're going to do the exact same thing we're going to drag my fill into this part and then of course if we set that value to one you can see it's coming from the left and it's just filling out like that so we don't want it to do that but at least we can see that it's actually the same size as what we want so I'm going to leave um, that section as it is I'm actually going to put this down a little bit so that I can see the underneath going to come down to our fill image here and this is the image thing so at the moment you can see it's set to image type simple what I want to actually do is set that to filled and now you can see I get these other options here which is a radial 360 fill and a bottom uh, and we're so just excuse me and now you can see that as we're sort of filling it up it's going along but it's also going through and giving it even more of a fill because it's basically trying to get a point from the bottom as the origin and then it's doing a full 360 degree circle around to fill it up um, that's not what actually we want because this is just a semicircle so we want to change that from radial 360 down to radial 180 and the fill type yeah we want that from the bottom as well um, but now you can see that as it's coming through it's not really displaying it the way that we want it to do. So we want our fill type to actually be from the right hand side and now you can see when we go to zero we've got nothing as we go up it's starting to fill that circle. Now it's a bit uh, of a wonky circle because again I've got the dimensions of the image uh, a little bit wrong. Uh, what we need to do is we need to make sure that this matches our proper um, shape that we've got here and now you can see as it goes through it's now filling up like that. So I'm just going to leave it there. I know the stamina bar is in the way. Actually, I can move the stamina bar up just slightly just so we can see it properly. Now, of course, if we hit play and we go into our game, you can see now it's got a very uh, strange sort of uh, squished out thing. That's just because of the way the HUD's um, setting it up and, and squishing it. But if I go into the damage area, you see as I start taking damage, it's now going down in that circular shape. So if I had a nice proper circle shape, uh, it would look a lot better. But as you can see, this is just how you can change the bar to a different shape and still have the same sliding effect without doing uh, any kind of code editing at all. Um, so yeah, that's all you need to know. If you have any more questions about it, please um, hit me up in the forums and I'll try and work through as best I can. But hopefully that's enough to uh, show you how to set it up yourself. Just um, play around with the, the rec transforms and whatnot to get it to sit the way you want it. Thanks for watching.